Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From the brand new clothing collaboration to the Hisfits 3 pack already being found early, G3 Spectra, the brand new Pride comic book and more so stay tuned, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay first off let's talk about the brand new Monster High Pride comic that takes place in G1 lore. Now we've already talked about this comic, obviously we know by now that the official canons have been changed and now Torla and Claudine are a couple and Spelden has been finally officially revealed with his full design and obviously him and Valentine are also a couple they're dating um so yeah the comic book I've seen some pages and they it looks it's a really fun comic like you should definitely go out and get it if you are able to um and if not don't feel bad it's okay um I, I'm not even sure where I would be able to go and buy it myself because <laughs> I don't have any comic book stores near me but um yeah it's a very nice comic and i'm definitely like like valentine and spelden they are so cute together they have some cute moments um you know torlight claudine they also have a nice little story and we also have a little b, b, b plot with um gulia and Cl cleo so um you know we have some more representation with with those characters as well and there's also some new characters that i think uh that i've seen but yeah, overall, it's a really nice comic. Um, I ship Spelden and Valentine so hard. They're so cute. They have some, again, like really cute little little moments. <laughs> um, and yeah, I hope that I hope they just really continue this storyline, you know, with like future comic books or in like in diaries or like future doll releases. Cause like how amazing would it be to actually get like a Spelden Valentine two pack or like a Claudine Torlai two pack, like anything. Just I feel like I, I really hope that it's not just because it's Pride Month that they um that they're really like opening up with these new stories and like officially you know confirming these 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 um couples um because it would be a shame if they really just were using it as a gimmick to sell the comic book because i feel like they should really just you know um just explore the these relationships more um in in you know creating new dolls and and stuff and because it, it really has potential so i really i really hope that um especially Spelden and Valentine, you know, their romance, their their romantic story. I hope it's just the beginning, you know, I hope that they have uh, more to show and more to um, explore. Next up here we have a full collection shot shared by Mooncast Dreamer of the all, all six of the brand new potions um, mini figures. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to call them mini dolls because there's no articulation whatsoever. I don't even know if their heads rotate. I don't think so. Um, they just, um, they're really cute little figures yeah i mean they are cute figures and you know the little uh color reveal gimmick is i guess fun you get to shake the bottle whatever whatever um but i feel like you're paying more than they are actually worth <laughs> like the actual figures themselves look like happy meal toys and you know great looking happy meal toys at that but still they do not look uh, even at the level of the disney prince's color reveal figures or even you know barbie color reveal dolls so um you know i feel like they are fine for what for what they are but i hope that they i guess become cheaper because they're perhaps overpriced for what they actually are also not to mention that some of the screenings on their faces are pixelated and wonky uh if from what i've seen you know like spectra's figure seems to be like um the only one who never really experiences any uh defects to any extent like i feel like all the faces i've seen for spectra her figure always looks good but for draculaura there's like pixelation um the lips are sometimes printed off uh for laguna the same thing for all of the figures you know you run the risk that even when you're getting them you don't even know who you're getting which is also a problem that i have <laughs> you know you don't you don't know who you're getting which is really sucks but like you, you don't know who you're getting but also you risk not getting a nicely printed figure um and that the paint job might be sloppy with the hair as well and like it, i just feel like they're a little bit um you know like undercooked like they had a good concept but like it, they're just a little too simple you know and like the quality uh quality control with these are not great moving on we have our first real life look at the hisfits three pack now from what i've heard um their pre-orders are starting to ship out for some people um you know from the entertainment pre-order window that also seems to be stocking back um really randomly for some people and i just really hope that they actually you know also sell these 
list、um, that they will be released also on Amazon and you know on other、uh, retailers because I hope that they're not pr-、uh, entertainment or f-、uh, exclusive because again like they're they're really like selling out really quickly and then like the stocking、uh, back is is like it's just really bizarre like how、um, inconsistently in like short periods of time they keep selling out. <laughs> Anyways,、um, they are starting to pop up in real life. Here we have、um, our first real life look at these ghouls by Jennifer, shared by Jennifer,、um, and they look great. You know, I think、um, for me, Miyalli definitely looks the best. I like her expression. I like the face greeting. It's very crisp.、Um, the face, the hair, the outfit. I think the hair is saran for all of them. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. <laughs> But it looks nice.、Um, but Persephone,、um, I don't know what happened. I'm hoping that's just like a one-time defect kind of situation. But like Persephone here looks wonky.、Uh, she looks bug-eyed. Like her eyes look huge compared to、um, Miality. But also,、uh, it looks like she's looking in two different directions.、Uh, so yeah, not the best、uh, application. Of the eyes, but otherwise, I do like that she has like a different lip shape, different expression.、Um, I like her outfit, and even Torlai looks really fun here. I like the crown. I like the little、um, instrument she's holding with her tail. Like that's just so iconic. I like her outfit, the cage skirt, the boots. Yeah, I think it's a good pack, definitely for sure. Maybe a little bit expensive,、um, and maybe they could have just sold the Werecat twins as a two pack. I feel like that would have been that would have been. Even better because then you wouldn't have to also get a Torlai in the mix here if you don't want her.、Um, but you know, Torlai is still really cute here, and obviously they are in a band in DG3 canon, so it does make sense to sell them as a three pack.、Um, so, what do you think of of these new、uh, of the Hisfits and of the Werecat twins specifically?、Um, who's your favorite, and do you also think that、um, perhaps Persephone's face is a little bit wonky? I don't know. I hope I'm hoping again. It's just like this one instance for Persephone, but that like most Persephones. Faces will look okay because if all of them look like this, that's really not good. Like I feel like they really did her dirty with the eyes. You know, like it's just look, it looks so wonky, so bad. But at least Miality looks really, really perfect. <laughs> Next up here, we also have a first look at a Spectra in real life. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure I've already shown you her in real life previously in a video.、Um, but here she is again. <laughs>、um, the news here is that、um, these pictures are by Click That, and apparently. They ordered her、um, from Smith's Toys UK, so apparently she's already available for Smith's Toys UK、um, on Smith's. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if you live in the UK,、um, go to your Smith's Toys, you know, because、um, they might just have G3 Spectra. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I'm, I mean Spectra looks really great here.、Um, does her outfit look very similar to a Han Couture Minute Runway Spectra?、Um, yeah, those outfits look almost identical to each other. It's almost like.、Um, Bizarre,、uh, for sure. But、um, the face—I mean, the face card. Look, it looks amazing. Seriously, it, she's divine. I like her design.、Uh, the outfit's simple, but like, I like the translucent、uh, details. Like, it just—it works. I like her shoes. I like her, you know, Reuben,、um, and then her hair. Uh, from what I've heard, is Saran, so not Polly, but still seems to be a little bit of a of a mess out of the box. And then here by Enigma Dolls, we also have a little bit of a repaint on her lips, you know, giving her a kind of like an open mouth lip situation, and that looks also like insane. I mean, look at that! Look at the like that just really shows you that the actual face sculpt of the doll of on the head、um, is amazing. Like it's really well done, and、uh, she looks even better with like the kind of like、um, half open mouth with the teeth showing. And then the straight hair, the little middle part, like that looks so good. Again, like huge props to Enigma Dolls. I mean, just such a good work. <laughs> Now, for anyone wondering, where is Welcome Committee Frankie Stein? Apparently, Frankie, this doll has been postponed to. Next year or just indefinitely?、Uh, reasoning, I don't know. This is so bizarre to me, especially because it's it's Pride Month right now. And I mean, come on, the design on this Frankie doll screams Pride Month with all the different colors, the aesthetic, the design. I mean, it just it would have been a perfect release for. Pride Month, but I I hope that they still release Frankie this doll、um, this year because if they release 
uh, them next year like i just it, to me it, like i don't know i don't know what's and happening and lastly let's talk about the new collaboration between monster high and killstar now i don't know anything about them killstar i don't know what their reputation is like what their average pricing looks like and if this is like a quality clothing and worth the pricing or if they are cheap um from what i've heard it is a little bit overpriced more on the overpriced side especially because the actual clothing pieces themselves are not that interesting like most of them just have a simple generic print on them and then they cost almost 30 bucks and even like a simple t-shirt like that should not cost that much if all you're doing is printing a, a fun little you know print design on a shirt like that's just not worth the money i'm sorry at least make the design of the actual clothing item interesting itself but just the print is not doesn't make does not justify the pricing i'm sorry just no uh the standouts for sure are to me the bags even if they are also still expensive but at least they are cool looking bags you know um and they might look and they might actually be good quality i don't know they, they look sturdy so um okay and then i like the cardigans as well but they're also just very expensive so overall i would say if you are a fan genuinely of these of these designs and if for you money is not an issue you don't care um then you know i'm good 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 <laughs> i'm happy for you good go get him um but i feel like for me realistically a lot of us are not going to get any of these items for you know pricing re reasons or quality reasons um and also just because again the actual actual designs themselves for a variety of these from from the majority of these items are just really boring and not what you would expect of a official collaboration between monster high and, you know, of course, this Killstar company. So I just hope that in the future we get more exciting collaborations for clothing uh, lines because I feel like Monster High is such a creative brand ip and and just this is what we're getting like a simple print on a on a shirt on a dress like come on we can do better than this surely <laughs> and that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses